my name is Dawn. Thank you for joining me today for Sunday Crofter News. I am here today on Treaty 6 territory, traditional homeland of the Métis. We are all treaty people. I am here today in this recording space all by myself, so I'm going to take my mask off and then I will tell you all about the flower sun catchers, which I would like to make with you today. So here's one that I've made that's blue. And as you see behind me are some yellow and red ones. Today, we're just gonna make a very simple version of this. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but the red one that I did, I actually colored red on the, the outside of the petals. I would think it would look really cool if you had some sort of craft paper that you wanted to cover the outside with, or you could experiment and try different ways. But today, we'll just do it very simply. What you'll need for this is a toilet paper roll, um, tissue paper. I've done a yellow, a red, and a blue one, so today I thought I'd do purple. A ruler, a pencil, scissors, um, a hole punch, that's what it's called, and some glue, and then you're all set to do this project. The first thing we need to do at the beginning of this project is take our toilet paper roll or your cardboard tube and fold it in half. Um, and the more you scrunch it, I'm not sure if you can tell from my flowers, but the yellow one, I squished them together a lot more so the flower petals are a lot narrower and the red one is a little wider. I think I like the wider better, but try doing it both ways and see what you like better, a narrower or a broader petal. Then you need your ruler and we're going to start measuring from one edge and we're going to measure five eighths of an inch and make a little mark. And we'll do this all along the top and the bottom. All right, once you've made your markings, then what I did was just draw lines across so that you can tell where you'll want to cut. And again, I'm using my ruler so that I have a straight line. Okay, so what you'll have now is a toilet paper roll with lots of little lines. So the next step is to cut these out. Now we only need five of these, so there'll be a little bit left at the end and you can just discard that, recycle it. So cut all five of your petals. And then this little piece just gets recycled. So now we have five of these cute little petals. And before we cover them with tissue paper, we're actually gonna use a hole punch and punch a little hole through both sides at the bottom. And this is going to be where we tie the petals together in the end. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's a string that runs through the inside of those petals right along the center. So while you're punching your holes, you wanna make sure not to punch them too high um, too high on the petal or else it'll give it a, a weird shape. So punch close to the bottom and not all the way at the bottom, but I would say probably about there is great. So you're going to do that to all five of your petals. If you don't have a hole punch, you could probably do this with a pair of scissors, just to make a little slit at the bottom. Just something that you could thread the string through to tie all of the petals together. Okay. On the last one that you do, we are also going to put a tiny little hole right on the crease line at the top. So we punched our hole there at the bottom and now at the top, right on the crease in the center, we're going to put one more hole and this will be where you add the string to tie it, to hang it up. So we're all finished with that part. Now it's time to do the fun part, which is adding the color. I was only able to do one layer of tissue paper, but I wonder if you could glue on one layer and then glue a second one on top if you want it to be a bit of a richer color, but I didn't experiment with that. So try it at home if you want a bit of a deeper color. What we're going to do now is just take this glue and run it along the edge of our petals. And it doesn't matter if it's a little bit thick, it dries clear and you'll have a little bit of extra tissue paper that stays around the outside of the toilet paper roll anyway. And then you just set it onto the tissue paper and let it dry. 
Now this is the point where you can decide if you want to have a bit of a broader petal or a bit of a narrower petal, kind of like the broader one, a bit more color. And then you just continue gluing until you have all five of them on the tissue paper. I'm all finished gluing the petals onto the tissue paper. And now we just have to wait. Wait until the glue is dry and I'll be back. Okay, all the glue is dry. As you can see, it's holding on to these little uh, petals. So now we're just gonna go through and cut all of these out. You don't need to cut right, right the side of the cardboard too. Um, it tends to work out okay if you even leave just a little bit of an edge to it. It doesn't look messy when you get it all put together. So I'm not sure if you are worried about things like that like I am. I want to do everything perfectly, but if you leave that little edge, it won't look bad in the end. All right, all of these are done and cut. I'll try to show you closer what it looks like. So you can see I left a bit of an edge of the tissue paper on the outside. Now what we're going to do is take a short length of string and through each of those sides that have two holes, you're just gonna put the string directly through. It takes a little bit of fiddling. It's a good idea to pick string that doesn't fray on the ends, which is what I did. So it may be a little bit of a struggle for me to get this through all of these without it coming entirely apart. Okay, I have all of my petals strung together and now you just tie it very gently the cardboard tubes are not super, super strong, so if you tie it too tightly, it could rip the holes in your cardboard. Um, it does make for a bit of a wiggly flower, but I think that's okay. And once it's backed by a window, you won't ever notice that there's a little bit of wiggle room in it. Um, so just tie it, and there you go. You've got a flower. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is cut uh, cut a little bit of a length um, to go through the top hole that we made so that you can hang it in a window. Now you could use fishing line if you have access to fishing line or you could just use regular string, you could use yarn, whatever you have around your house. Someone was even saying dental floss would work really well for this. So you know, use what you've got. And that's it. You have a sun catcher flower to hang in your space. Happy crafting.